think it was back in like early 2013. You know, I remember there was a newspaper article about uh, Silk Road and uh, how it was using Tor, I think, and using Bitcoin. It was then that I was thinking, wow, you know, this is a, like a really key difference between the services that have been internet-based before and Bitcoin. It was like, wow, the software can exist without any individual person. And that was crucial in the start of my journey into this world. You know, I've been a sort of technologist at heart since very early age. As soon as someone showed me a computer, it was like, wow, this is amazing. This is what I want to do. Started coding when I was like eight years old. Uh, up until that point, I was building Lego. So it was like a pretty obvious transition. Bitcoin rule set very simple. It allowed people to operate on this rule set without having to go through an intermediary. For me, it showed me that you can introduce rules into a world, and if those rules are useful, people can opt into them. And that allows for the creation of social structures that we haven't seen yet. This is a purely algorithmic mechanism for human cooperation and interaction. That was something that really took my fancy and, and I think altered a little bit my direction, what I was looking into. As a decent coder, I could get a job reasonably easily in, in software. I had like a couple of standing offers to go work for fairly large financial institutions late 2013, right when we started Ethereum. You know, I had almost no money in my account. I think I, think I had like one month's worth of rent left back in December 2013. A guy in London called Johnny Bitcoin. I met him via another guy called Amir Taki, who I emailed shortly after seeing this article with Bitcoin and how Bitcoin is on the rise. And uh, around November time, we had a beer. I was living in London at the time. And he said, oh yeah, was, he has a mate called Vitalik. And Vitalik just sent an early version of this white paper. It looked a lot different to what Ethereum looks like today, at least on the technical level. And then Johnny was like, oh, you know, you think you're such a good C++ coder, you just go code this thing. Vitalik's kind of looking for like a partner to code it. And so I was like, yeah, sure, fine, whatever, I'll do it. I was curious enough to see where the rabbit hole led. You know, a day or two later, I sat down and I read the thing and actually started writing it. Right now, I'm working with the Ethereum project, which is a, um, you know what Ethereum project is? No. You know what Ethereum project is? It's a, so it's a way of decentralizing uh, transaction-based processing. So it's a bit like Bitcoin, but with um, not just for financial applications, but rather for uh, all applications that need some form of agreement between two parties. So in my mind, key driving factor is experimentation and curiosity. It's like, can this affect a change for the better, we hope, in society? Can we create better social structures, better power structures, better ways of people getting what they want overall? Technology that's really built for the current world, it's built for the internet world, it's built for the globalized world. Um, it's built for the world where there are increasingly fewer barriers between cultures, where diversity is increasingly normalized. In effect, this is technology that's being used to build the new world, the world that's going to drive human civilization for this rest of this century, at least. And it's important not to lose sight of the fact that these are frontier times. Certainly, um, economic institutions should get used to the idea that um, authorities are not necessarily going to be needed to, do, uh, to, to arbitrate such interactions. Um, in the same way that perhaps um, uh, lawyers will their job will morph into the future, into not necessarily people that um, arbitrate between parties, but rather people that um, explain repercussions to, to, to individuals up front. And so it will become, hopefully, a bit more of an honest game. Be sure to follow Coin Telegram.